I'm getting to you, little guy. I'm getting to you. Whilst Mum was feeding baby Sean, Andrew wanted his chocolate milk warmed up, and he threw a massive tantrum over it. No! I can't even understand you. You're crying so much. When you're done crying, you come up and ask me what you want nicely. Mommy, I want it. What do you want, Andrew? Listen, I don't understand you. Talk to me properly. Talk to so me properly. I can understand Normal you. Talking. I don't understand you, Andrew. I want this. You want your drink warmed up? But ask me nicely. I'd like my drink warmed up, please, Say it. Mommy. I want my drink warm up. Ignore it. Ignore it. I want to teach Andrea how to not give in to Andrew's tantrums. What's going on? What's yeah. happening? Come in, Fred. Come in. Fred was in shock. He looked very pale. <laughs> Are you OK? What? You seem... <laughs> Is it the crying? I've never seen him act in this <laughs> manner before. You don't hit me, Andrew. I don't like that. Andrea started to catch on very quickly. And when he hit her, she took him straight to the naughty spot. You don't hit people. You sit there and you think about it. It upset me as a parent to see my child become that emotionally upset where he was just almost begging to be picked up and held. I want you to listen to what I'm saying because I've been in many, many houses where parents have thought, oh, my God, it feels like it's all gone mayhem. It feels like it's getting worse. The only thing that just got worse was that Andrew just realised that his mum and dad are now in control of the discipline. <laughs> You don't hit me. <laughs> All I wanted you to do was say, Mommy, can you warm up my chocolate milk? In a nice, nice way. Don't pick him up. It's not a baby. Don't pick him up. Don't pacify me in that way. Honestly, you are not, you are not being cruel. You're just setting boundaries. He will thank you for it later. Trust me on this. Or he will. OK? Anytime somebody comes in your house and starts to give you directions, it's hard. It's hard to accept change. It's hard to accept criticism. They didn't have a consistent schedule. The priority is that the children are put into a consistent routine. So at 5 to 5.30, Sean and Andrew eat dinner, and then bedtime at 7 o'clock. Joe gave us a schedule to keep us on track as far as eating. Andrew, when she gets done with something, then you can ask for it. When you get done with something, you can give it to her so she can try and cut something. You teach your child how to recognize to play with other children so that they take turns.